Cultural evolution is a, is a dangerous child for any species to let loose on its planet. By the time you realize what's happening, the child is taller up the across the pattern, and it's too late to put it back. We humans are Earth's Pandoran species. We're the ones who let the second replicator out of the box, and we can't push it back. And we're seeing the consequences all around us. Now that, I suggest, is the view that comes out of taking the menace seriously. And it gives us a new way about thinking that, about the fact that we're not the only we're not, about not only what's going on on our planet, but what might be going on elsewhere in the cosmos. So first of all, I'd like to say something about mimetics and the theory of means, and secondly, how this might answer questions about who's out there, if indeed anyone is. So, mimetics. Mimetics is founded on the principle of universal Darwinism. Darwin had this amazing idea. Indeed, some people say it's the best idea anybody ever had. Isn't that a wonderful thought? That there could be such a thing as the best idea that anybody ever had. Or do you think there could? Well, I say yes. And if there is, I give the prize to Darwin. Why? Because the idea was so simple. And yet it explains all design in the universe. I would say not just biological design, but all design that we think of as human design. It's all just the same. It's all just the same thing happened. What did Darwin say? Oh, come on, I know you know the idea. He spoke about natural selection, but let me paraphrase the origin of species 1859. Just a few sentences. What Darwin said was something like, um, if you have creatures that marry and that can't be doubted, I've been to a lot of posts and I've measured the size of the beast and the size of the turtle shell and so on and so on a hundred pages later. Um, and if there's a struggle for life such that nearly all of these creatures die, and this can't be doubted, I've read novels and I've calculated how long it would take for elephants to cover the whole world if they, if they write up restricted, and so on and so on, and then another hundred pages. <clears throat> and the very few that survive pass on to their offspring, whatever. It is that help them survive, then those offspring must be better adapted to the circumstances in which all of this happened than their parents were. So you see the idea? If, 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 then. He had no concept uh, at the time uh, of, of an idea, of an algorithm, you know, but that's what he described in his book. And that's what we now know as the evolutionary algorithm. The principle is that you just need these three things, variation, selection, and heredity. If you 